Welcome back to the Mac Jetson channel. In today's video, we're diving into a thought-provoking topic that centers around the empowerment of women and the challenge against exploitation. We'll be discussing how India Iri recent comments align with the ideas put forth in the book The Conspiracy to Destroy Black Women by Michael Porter. Let's explore this important conversation. Peace and Black Power. Welcome to the Mac Jetson channel. I am your humble host, Mac. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy the show. Michael Porter's book sheds light on the need for women to protest against the blatant wholesale exploitation of women. He emphasizes the importance of critiquing rap songs, monitoring and boycotting exploitative rap videos, and challenging the argument that such content is art. Porter urges women to support female rap artists who promote liberation and to hold rap artists accountable for exploiting their own people. When we look at India Ari's recent comments regarding a video of people dancing on stage during Megan Thee Stallion's performance at the 2023 Essence Festival, we can see that she was doing exactly what Michael Porter advocated. Ari voiced her concern about the context and discernment in showcasing certain behaviors on stage. Ari's remarks can be seen as a form of protest against the blatant exploitation of women within the entertainment industry. By questioning the appropriateness of certain acts on stage, she aimed to foster a dialogue about the boundaries of artistic expression and the impact of mainstream culture. India Advocacy echoes Porter's call for women to challenge and critique the content consumed by their children. By expressing her discomfort with the onstage performance, she encourages reflection and discussions about the messages conveyed through rap songs and the visuals accompanying them. It's important to note that Iris' critique doesn't target specific artists or individuals, but rather draws attention to broader issues within the industry. Her intention is to encourage women to monitor and boycott exploitative rap videos and to support those female rap artists who promote liberation and empowerment. Ari's comments align with the spirit of sisterhood and empowerment discussed in Porter's book. They serve as a call for women to come together, challenge the status quo, and protect the dignity and well-being of black women within the entertainment industry and the community as a whole. However, it's essential to recognize that opinions on this matter may differ. Some may argue for the artistic freedom and the right to self-expression within the industry. These contrasting viewpoints offer an opportunity for respectful dialogue and a deeper exploration of the complexities surrounding the issue. As we conclude today's discussion, let's remember that the conversations initiated by India's comments are part of a broader movement seeking to empower women, challenge exploitation, and promote a culture of respect and dignity. By advocating for change, we contribute to the ongoing journey of creating a more inclusive and equitable society. Thank you all for joining us today. We hope this discussion has sparked critical thinking and encouraged you to explore the themes presented in The Conspiracy to Destroy Black Women by Michael Porter. Special thanks to YouTuber Euphoric Dreams for assisting me create this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more important conversations. Until next time, take care, and let's continue empowering one another.